well, for some reason, France is in my war, and uh, I can't be asked to go back and look at the um, the footage to find out why in the heck I'm being attacked by my ally in a war. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Welcome back, everybody, to Baltic Crusader. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the campaign up to this point, because I certainly have. Lots of fun in the sun here. Well, the sun of uh, Prussia, I suppose. But, uh, yes, and it's been going very smoothly, so... I am uh, quite happy with how things have gone up to this point. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Let's have you guys come on over here and, yep, wipe out all these little stacks over here. And, uh, you know, just hopefully our fort line will hold up. So Muscovy doesn't have an army anymore. And we need to get make it so these guys don't have an army anymore either. And get everybody sieged back because this is my land and you are not allowed to siege it down. You do not have my permission. You need a warrant to occupy these provinces. You got a license for that, mate. All right, let's get these guys over here. Uh, yep, that is fine. I will take the prestige. Get you guys over here. They won't have any reinforcements, so that's an easy clap. And since these guys are on this fort, I'm gonna also come on over here, shift consolidate. The French should not be able to reinforce them. Take the admin mana. I'm gonna scorch this province and just nope on out of here. Yeah, we had a force march. So that's fine. All right. So let's get half this army down here. And let's have half this army come on down to relieve good uh, Albrecht von Krusenstein down here um, from the onslaught of French armies in uh, the Ukraine. Or I believe this area you would be called the Ukraine. Like, um, now what would you even call this area? I don't know. Ruthenia? Yeah, that's a good one as well, Ruthenia. All right, so let's get these armies over here together because um, I would like to attack them, if at all possible. So that is a nice little easy clap there. Now I'm going to force march these guys down. So they will be down there. They will arrive in Pod Podolia the 7th of September. So I want these guys to get there roughly the same time. They'll get there the exact same day even. So how's that? Let's extend this loan. Shift consolidate, shift consolidate, and then we'll have a full army in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all these cannons. Actually, we don't have as many cannons as they do. Oh yikes, they're actually inflicting like very heavy casualties on us despite our diplo or discipline advantage. Wow, man. All right, that's fine. Let's barrage this fort here. They're gonna win Krakow as well. The, the French are being very annoying. How many men have they lost? 130. Good thing you attacked me, dude. Like, wh what is this about? All right, so we have admin efficiency now. Very good. We are continuing to core stuff up as we are able. Now, how many provinces am I off? All right, yeah, this one and then these three. That's it. We have all the provinces we need for the achievement, so. We've won the Siege of Posen. Now let's get this army down here. Let's get... Uh... Yep, this is fine. He's a good general. These guys are fleeing up here to the capital, Marienburg. So this is an easy clap in a war, in a battle here. And even better, I can uh, reinforce my boys to make sure that we are just always oh, stack wiped them. -hoo -hoo! How about that, France? How's that feel, idiots? Uh, that's what you get, dude. This is what you genuinely deserve. This. I I'm gonna have to look back and see. Leave a comment and let me know if you guys can see the saw the point at why France France joined the war because I genuinely have no idea. All right, this army will relieve Brandenburg's occupations. This army will come down here and um, hopefully get some picks on some uh, unsuspecting armies here. How's the province? The okay. Oh, okay. Right. Let's have these guys head on over to Berlin. Have you guys come on over here as well. This stack here, we don't need you guys attaching to me. Brandenburg, you can do your own thing, baby. So I think I have all my armies set to attach. Yeah, so let's have you guys there. Do not attach to me. All right. Very good. So if they want to come onto these forts, these forts are mostly defensible. So it would be pretty good for us to fight them there. Now, I can piece France out at any time. I just need to kill a couple more of their men. And meanwhile, they're, they're weakening themselves. If I stack wipe a few of their armies, I guarantee you Spain and or Portugal will attack them. 
They do not have a truce with Spain. So, uh, yes. I am uh, very, very um, confident that if I stack wipe this army here, these two armies, this is their entire army right here. Uh, so that that is not very intelligent on their end. That is their literal entire army. All right, let's get Brandenburg unoccupied. So yeah, if I get these guys off these forts, I might be able to wipe a 40 stack. Oh yes, please. Please stack your whole army up on there. That would be ideal. Defensiveness, of course. No, 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 no. Yes, this is good. This is good. And they're even consolidating 5% attrition tick. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> they have no manpower. That's their entire army standing on this fort, taking attrition. And this is their return province. They cannot go unless they want to attack me, which ideally we, we don't have them attack us. But I'm going to let them just sit here for a couple of months since, uh, you know, the more men that die to attrition, the better for us, I suppose. This army might as well head on over because I'm pretty sure they do not have a fort line. Yep. We can march right onto Paris. <laughs> oh, man. I know they reworked the AI's um, ability to, like... Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh, we don't have mill access, do we? Sadly. All right, well, let's get on over here, then. Now, as long as these guys don't get, like, a 14 percenter... Well, I think that'll slip them up to... Ooh, zero. Okay, perfect. So they can just still sit there and take the attrition. 5%. Like, my goodness. My absolute goodness. All right, so we're going to go in here before their next one. Just one in that. So how many more days does this siege take? 35, so we can wait one more month even. I don't need to force march either. So uh, exactly, we want to get here basically right after the monthly tick. On the second, because that's when the first is when the attrition tick actually applies. So take a look at this. 60, 2000, 61.8. <laughs> and uh, they have a 1-4 general to my 3-6 with extra fire. So, hmm. I think I'd need more cannons, bro. Yeah, the extra fire damage is not going to be as useful. Well, it looks like he probably is the best general. No, let's get you over there. And let's have these guys... Where's my army over here? Let's have you guys head on in there with him. Well, actually, do we have a better siege guy? Let's have you on there with him. Now, what in the world? Let's uh, bring out our army here. So they just lost like another 10,000 men, 15,000 men. And they're probably fleeing somewhere in the Ukraine so I can track them down and attack them over here. Right, we need to continue to yoink these so we can get more... Um, more um max absolutism you can also strengthen your government for mana i don't know if we actually want to do that though i will always take army tradition it gives us better generals all right look at this we're gonna win this siege yeah hey, it's defensive though Jeez, oh pete quite defensive all right, let's uh, force march over and over here, actually. So these guys are probably heading over to Nitra. They may actually be heading back to defend their homelands. I would not surprise... That would not surprise me at all. So this should be a wipe on the on these guys here. Absolutely it is. So look how many men they've lost. France has lost 211,000 men. Absolutely insane. I kind of don't understand how they have an army still. Or how they have not been attacked yet. I don't actually get that. That's fine. Okay. Need to keep an eye because their army might just be over here in uh, Zemplin. Zemplin? Nope. They're running back here. Yeah, this army's in danger now. Because that's one big old doom stack of the French walking our way. That'll allow us to take one more. Ah, close. Okay, so now we just need to get these guys occupied. We'll be able to piece France out in no time. Just waiting to see where those French armies are. I reckon they're right around here right now. They fled all the way back. So they probably fled like somewhere midway. 
and then they decided to change their tune. I'm just trying to keep an eye on both both fronts, making sure that they're not going to pop out of the fog of war over here. And this army here is, uh, oh man, bad luck, man, bad luck. Yep, there they are. That's their whole army as well. Yep, that's that's bad news, bad news, bad news. All right, come on, baby. There we go. So one thing I want to do here, this is uh. Yes, good, good, good. Scorch this province. I should have scorched this one. They're going to reinforce there. So it's a loss for me, but this is mountains. Right? right? Hill, uh, hills. Well, not ideal, but it is what it is. This is their whole army taking more attrition here. All right, let's head in. I don't think I win this battle. Maybe I do. I must have rolled pretty good there. Oh, a nine to their one. Let's go. We win. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. All right. So since we're going to have some time, let's get a quick um, Carpa Siege down here. Now, I don't need to do this. I bet I could piece these guys out right now. But uh, I want to take some stuff from them because screw them. They are annoying. And they need to be conquered. Let's actually split you guys up here. They got six stack over here. If you don't know, you need at least 10 war score to make demands. And we only have nine against them. So a couple of occupations quickly would uh, allow us the... War score that we're looking for here. Also get onto a couple of extra forts. That also will give us um, reasons to peace out for them. That It will give them reasons to peace out, rather. Uh, let's just take the mercantilism. Continue to convert everything. Win a couple of occupations over here. Oh, they're coming back, actually. Really? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? This is fine, actually. I will gladly pull these armies in. These guys are being reckless. Absolutely reckless. They got their morale back. <laughs> like, what are you doing, dudes? All right. They now have 23,000 men with 10,000 in reserves. I have 100 war score here. I will have you guys send me war reps and whatever money you're willing to give me. There you go. You go bankrupt because you were being a jerk and attacked me. I was just consolidating my rightful clay. You know what I mean? So now France will have probably a few loans from that war. Yeah. They'll take them out on the monthly tick. So they only took out one loan. You kidding me, man? I got bamboozled. Got another mission over here. Build a treasury. I can do that. Build manufactories. That's a lot of money. And uh, we might as well pay off our loans here. We are making really good bank right now. An Imperial Conquest, which gives us years of separatism, which is nice. All right. So let's build some manufactories. And all those manufactories will now be steered into our land. So that's good, right? And I will take these provinces that I have claims on. Might as well cut them in half, screw them, you know? There you go. Now their capital's cut off from the other half of their country, right? You got Lithuania and Lithuania. The nation's so nice that they named it twice. Actually, let's see here. Now, can I yoink? I can definitely yoink. Can I yoink? No. All right. Well, a little bit of dev from Moscow is fine with me. Let's have these guys handle that there. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. And I guess since... Well, I guess I can't core it. So half you guys head over here. Half these guys suppress over here. We do need to get that absolutism up. Let's take a look here. Is there any more land that we need to be decreasing autonomy in? There's that one there. That one there. Eh, I'll accept Novgorodian culture. It's fine with me. The first circumnavigation. Well done. All right. We are doing very well. Now, again, I'm okay with a couple of rebels here and there. Not those ones. Those are expensive. If they have a lot of cores, it's generally not a good idea. But yeah, the fact that I uh, didn't get my crown land up in a timely manner is painful for us. Uh, however, you do get some some from deving. So let's do a little bit of deving, yeah? There you go. Look at this development, too. We got lots of development in Poland. Good land uh, for developing here. So that brought our crown land up to 64. 
And uh, now we get yearly absolutism. Very good. So it's a 60 something. So uh, the absolute, the yearly change is really good. Now we should probably try to get some of these as well. Um, build a couple of land things. See, this is why I wanted to join the league war. That would have given me some yearly splendor or monthly splendor, which would have been good. Absolutism. That's a tough one. Center. Oh, right. Universities. Gosh, dang it. I'm doing all that development. I didn't even think about the universities. Well, we need five of them. So let's get those guys built there. Eh, I don't want to spend the money. All is well. All is well. The extra splendor will be good because the yearly absolutism has probably the best ones. You got this one for extra yearly absolutism, 5% admin efficiency, and 50% uh, harsh treatment costs for putting down rebels. So quite useful. You can't put down rebels in your vassal's land. So, you yeah, know, it is what it is. Those guys, let's get, uh, you will be relieved there of your duty or you up and, uh, an election of five, three, three, but he's a militarist, which means he's going to only rule until, because if it's at zero, whenever you do the election, they'll take over, uh, their party takes over. So you can see here, we have an election with him, sadly, but it's all right. I'd rather have the extra mana. War score cost versus other religions is crazy. Yep, now we just need to get these guys up here. Right, we need to get those extra universities, so continue to build those here. Centers for kids who can't read good. Building them in my cloth provinces, because that's where I'm trying to get most of my development, right? Oh, hey, I'm Pope Man. What? I didn't even try for it. Nice. So our papal bull, we're gonna go with the uh, development cost run because I like I like Dev. Let's get some claims on you, especially on Kiev. Now you guys, I need to steal maps from. So let's steal maps of the uh, Ural from you, and that will allow me to see this province here, which is great. So now we are going to get rid of religious ideas. No, actually, I'm not. I'm going to wait until I actually need to. We're going to wait until we actually need to. Though, to be fair, hmm. I don't think we need this tech. I think we can, if we can get the achievement very quickly, like all I need to do is convert. Yeah, four provinces, which is one, two, three, four. Everything else is already converted. Look, it's all Catholic. Always has been. So continue to build these centers for kids who can't read good build them in the provinces that we need them in uh generally i i try to prioritize provinces that i plan to dev a lot cloth is a big one and now since we've been deving a lot of um grain might as well do that as well as soon as they finish up we'll get that extra bit of splendor i don't think it's gonna be super useful we can't get a golden era anyway so it doesn't matter i'll take the prestige our devotion is still maxed out no big deal Yeah, these poor guys are going to have rebels. There's nothing I can do about that. All right. If I'm only going to get 280 back though, man, is that really it? I feel like that is like not enough at all. I could re I could ally Poland up again. Tunisian conquest of Malta, huh? Wait, they got attacked by Tunis? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I slapped them so hard that Tunis attacked him. And is losing. Feels bad. That's hilarious, actually. Though I reckon... Oh, I bet France was the defender of the faith, weren't they? And it didn't tell me because they weren't... I was uh, co-belligeranting to get them in the war. I reckon that's what just happened there. I think that's what just happened. Whatever. It's not a big deal either way. We spanked them. Absolutely spanked them, by the way. Uh, we're So we're going to need to get our army force limit up a bit. So we'll build a couple of these buildings here. Uh, regimental camps. Sort of by provinces that are actually going to give me the force limit, right? And as my force limit goes up closer to 200, we'll be closer to getting that. Let's actually... No, I'm good. So I'm going to... I want the extra admin mana, so I'm going to hold on to that one. 
94. Let's get rid of one more here. There we go. They can be a little disloyal. I, I don't particularly care, honestly. The malices are negligible at this point in the game. And we'll just continue to build up a few more of these guys. And as we get them done, changed capital three times, little ghost, huh? What's that about? Hopefully they didn't spend all the mana on that. That seems uh, a little buggy, yeah? All right. Hessa is now the emperor. Very good. I got a lot of people that were kind of like, why didn't you join the empire? Why would I join the empire? I don't need to, right? What's in it for us? What's in it for us, you know? All right. Let's see here. Build a few more. Force limit will be popping up here as buildings finish up. Yeah. Internal conflicts in the Ming. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose maybe we just... Uh, let's focus on admin. And I suppose we just kind of push for it. It's not really a big deal to me. I don't need the conversion guy anymore. So let's go with a... Hmm. Let's see if I can get somebody who's a little more useful. We don't need a conversion guy. But that's funny because that the conversion guy was the orthodox and I didn't even see it. Um, Prestige is not useful. She's also a Sunni. So that's an absolute no from me. Prestige guy who's not upgradable. Whatever, man. You can have it. I just need to get some more claims on these guys over here. Because my truce with them is uh, it's going to be quite a long time. But, you know, if we can clean it up, we should. Could my coalition form? Hey, it could. You think it would? Let's improve relations with these guys. See if we can prevent a coalition from firing. That'd be pretty dang annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, well. Let's attack these guys here. Well. Yeah, if I attack these guys, that'll, that'll be good. That'll call in everybody that I need to worry about. Because now you can see here, these guys won't be able to join my coalition. I think the coalition may actually even disband here. We'll see. I just don't want to fight the Ottomans again, man. I really don't want to. It's just annoying. At this point, it's like, what do I have to gain from it, right? We've gotten everything we wanted in the war. In the wars, rather. So... We're just waiting a couple more years. I'll just... I, I don't need to dis... Uh... To get rid of my my thing here. All right. 253 or 363. I guess we'll just go with the 363. I will take a little bit of unrest. Doesn't bother me any. Can't hear him. So, yep. A few more months and we'll be able to take this. And we're focusing on admin. So, we're we're in a good spot there. Let's carpet siege you guys down. Again, I don't need anything in this war. I just need to piece them out. I do not want you to uh, siege my stuff down, though. All right, get you guys over here and um, yeah, I'll just take, piece them out for like money. You know, all I need is a truce that will prevent the coalition from being able to form. That's it. No big deal, right? All right, you're full occupied now, homie. And then give me all your money. And there you go. That's like a nice little seven year truce that I have with them now. No big deal, right? Now these guys head back over here. And uh, on the yearly tick, I will take uh, that. So now you can see Guzik Mook and uh, AQ are not able to join my coalition, right? Or no guy. So now my truce, my coalition is just Ostracon, possibly Uzbek and the Ottomans, but I think it's not allowed to fire unless there's four. That's the number that's in my mind, is that there needs to be at least four members of a coalition for it to fire. I could be wrong, but I haven't been wrong that many times before. Har, har, har. So we'll ride with it and see, see if we're good. All right. Now, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I probably should just let these guys rise up. So I'm going to get rid of that there. Though the Muscovite ones I don't really want to have to deal with. And next month, I'll be able to take all three techs right on time. And that will allow us to take uh, expansion ideas. That way we can get our colonists. So we can get these guys colonized at the same time. So in the next episode, which will be the last one, we are going to be able to uh, spank Lithuania one more time just to clean up the borders, right? I mean, why not? And we're going to get these guys colonized. We're going to get the Baltic Crusader and 
I don't think there's much more to do after that. Um, I was thinking about doing some shenanigans with Prussia, but you also have to remember we're converting all these provinces. So they all have, for the most part, religious zeal out here. A bunch of random ones do. If we convert, we're going to have crazy internal conquest. And the Catholic Church has been good to us, right? We're the kind of the last bastion on this side of Germany. So I think we stay Catholic and I think we end on a good note, right? Anyways, if you guys are excited for the finale, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, and uh, join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. Subreddit, for sure, you should check out because there's some great memes that get posted over there. And uh, I always appreciate a little bit of community involvement with you guys on the uh, subreddit. If you have it within your means and you want to support content you love, my Discord or my uh, my sub, my <laughs> my Patreon is linked in the description. The Patreon is what allows me to do what I do. So a big shout out to my patrons. Uh, couldn't do it without you guys. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.